Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about modal verbs. We already talked about can and could before, well and would. So today we are going to add two more modal verbs, may and might. Before we start, you need to know that the negative form of may and might, you just add not. So may will be may not. Might will be might not. All right, so let's start with the modal verb may. Like we always say, a modal verb is used to indicate the mood or tense of the verb. And the modal verb may comes with other verbs to express permission or possibility. So let's explain each one of them. So permission, we use may to ask for a permission, to ask to take a permission. May I watch a movie tonight, mom? Here I'm asking mom if I am allowed to watch a movie tonight. So I'm asking for a permission by using the modal verb may. So if I ask you, what does this example express? You would say, it's expressing permission. May I watch a movie tonight, mom? We also use may to give a permission. So after asking for a permission, you can also use it, use may to give a permission. You may play with your computer. Your mom is allowing you to play with your computer. So she says, you may play with your computer. So here, she is giving a permission. So may expresses permission. Either you ask for a permission or you give a permission to someone. Then we have possibility. We use may to express possibility. There is a chance for something to happen. We are not sure that it will happen, but we have a chance and a big chance or something to happen. I may travel next month. I'm not quite sure yet, but I may travel next month. There is a big chance that I may travel next month. All right? It may rain today. The sky is cloudy. So here, I think that there is a big chance it may rain today. But am I sure that it will rain? No, I'm not sure. But I have a big chance, or I can see a big chance, for the sky to rain today. Why? Because the sky is cloudy. So I have a chance for something to happen. So I can use the modal verb may. So this was the modal verb may. What about might? The same. A modal verb is used to indicate the mood or tense of the verb. So the modal verb might comes with other verbs to express. First, the past form of may. The past form of may. And also, it expresses smaller possibility. Let's explain each one. So, might as the past form of may. We need to talk about the past. And we are talking about may, but in the past, then we have to use might instead of may. As long as we're talking about the past, we need to use the modal verb might. So, she might have finished her work yesterday. So I'm talking about yesterday, I'm talking about the past, so I used might. Why? Because I'm talking about the past. And here, might is expressing the past form of may. So, we used might because we are using the past form of the modal verb may. And what is the past form of may? It is might. 
We also use might for possibility, but we use it for smaller possibility than may, smaller chance than may. So may and might, they both express possibility. What's the difference? When there is a small chance for something to happen, we use might. Look at the example. If you get ready in five minutes, you might be able to catch the train. So, is this person going to catch the, the train? Most likely, they will not be able to. So we have a very small chance for it to happen. This is why we used might and we didn't use may. Because getting ready in five minutes doesn't seem very easy, right? So, as long as we have a small chance that it will happen, then we use might. But if we have a bigger chance, like if I remove five minutes and I say, if you get ready in an hour, you, can I use may or might? I will use may because we have a bigger chance. You can get ready in an hour, right? So if you get ready in an hour, you may be able to catch the train. But in this example, if you get ready in five minutes, five minutes, you might be able to catch the train. So this is the difference between may and might. If you have a small possibility, small chance for something to happen, then you have to use the modal verb might. So I want you to watch May and Might. Contrary to popular to belief, May and Might are not interchangeable as they have slightly different meanings. Expression. May refers to a possibility, and Might conveys more uncertainty. Let's take a look at some examples. There are dark clouds in the sky. It may rain later today. The dark clouds in the sky indicate a possibility of rain. I'm sick, but I might come to the party. In this example, the speaker does not feel well and he's uncertain about attending the party. So, there's only a slight chance that he might actually go to the party. Therefore, always look out for the context and choose the right word based upon the level of possibility. That's it for today. See you next time.